Here, I'm going to show you how to click a button and have every single worksheet in your workbook exported into a new separate individual Excel file. And I'll also show you how to exclude worksheets such as the dashboard here. And one of the many use cases for this is you've exported a lot of data, let's say for all of your salesmen and women, and then you have a big file like this. You've run my macro from the other tutorial that made a glossary on the dashboard so we can easily navigate to all the tabs, but now you want to export one and send it to each one of the salespeople. So you just click a button and have it so it will happen automatically instead of having to go down here and do it one by one and it will take <laughs> forever. And I'll show you how to make it so that we copy these worksheets into new files and then also how to make it so that we remove them from this workbook right here and then put them into their own file. Slight difference, but it might be important for you. Now, if you want to learn how to do so much more in VBA, if you want to become an expert, if you want to automate all of the tasks that you have to do like this and so much more and save yourself hours of time every single week, take my full Excel VBA course where I bring you from beginner and intermediate level all the way to advanced and expert level. And I show you how to build projects like this and much more complex projects and take an idea from a concept into production and make it work amazingly well. The goal of the course is to save you time. I'll put a link to it below this video. Go ahead and check it out. Now, before we get into the code, let's just quickly look over this workbook. There is nothing really special here, just some separate worksheets. However, if you do have pivot tables that go between your worksheets, then you're going to have to watch my tutorial on how to export large projects, and it's going to be a lot more complex. Here, I'm going to assume that you don't have pivot tables, and it'll make life a lot easier. So let's go to the VBA window and get started, Alt F11. Go up to our project, right click, and insert module. And uh, let's call this guy sub oh, worksheet export. Very, very simple. And we are going to follow a pattern that might be familiar to you if you've been watching my previous tutorials. And that's the great thing about VBA and programming. You don't always have to reinvent the wheel. So let's start off with some variables here. We're going to be going through worksheet, so we need one for the worksheet. Dim WS as a worksheet. And let's make it a little bit formal and give one for the dashboard because we do not want to export that one. And let's go WB to save. Let's make it easy to reference the new workbooks that we are creating as a workbook. And how about file path to save as string. And first off, let's set the dashboard WS dash equals a worksheets. A dashboard okay and how about file path to save this is going to be in the test directory example that's where we're going to be saving this file or all the files that we export you could also do something like this workbook dot path to save it where this workbook is and you could get the name of this workbook as well if you wanted to you can do a lot of things here but I'm just going to hard code this guy in so let's remove that. And in my full VBA course, I show you a really nice way to get unique file names, by the way. But now we are going to be looping through the worksheets. So for each WS in uh, this workbook dot worksheets. So we go through the worksheets collection and we want next WS. And remember, a collection is a container. So the worksheets collection contains all of the worksheets for the workbook. Now we want to make sure that we don't do anything with the dashboard. So if ws.name does not equal ws-name, then we can proceed. And let's put it in the middle, give it some more space so it's easier to see everything. And here is where we get the worksheet into its own workbook. This is so easy. Reference the worksheet that you care about and type copy with no arguments after it, nothing after it. Then it will copy it into a new workbook. And if I ran this code right now, I would end up with a bunch of extra workbooks. But what we want to do is then save the workbook and close it. So the very first thing that you want to do after you make a new workbook like this is to get a reference to that new workbook because it can be very easy to lose that reference. 
So set WB to save the workbook variable we created at the top of the macro. And we want to set it equal to the active workbook. Now that we have a reference to that, it doesn't matter if that workbook is no longer the active workbook because we can use this variable to reference it. We can do whatever we want to it. Add some more worksheets, add some values, maybe you want to perform some calculations. You can do whatever you want now because we have that reference. And this is where you would do that. Once you've finished doing that, let's go ahead and save it. Save as. And let's go to the next line. And we're going to use the file name and the file format argument. So file and name equals, well, we want to give it the full file name path and extension. So we use file path to save, ampersand to concatenate that to now the name. Now, what do we want to name this guy? Well, let's just give it the same name as the worksheet that we're using to export. And we could do ws.name, but that's not going to work when I show you how to completely remove this worksheet and put it into a new workbook. So we're going to make our code a little bit more robust and just access the new workbook and the very first worksheet in it, which is the only worksheet in it, and just use the name of that. And that's the same as typing ws.name in this case, because the name of the worksheet doesn't change when you put it into a new workbook. I hope that's not too confusing. But don't forget to give it the file extension. So .xlsx, close quote, comma, space, and a line continuation character, underscore. And let's go now for file format. And listen, 51 is for xlsx, no macros. 52 is for xlsm. In the downloadable file, if you get that file, I'll put a link to it below this video. So if you get that file, I have a little note that says 51 for the regular workbook, xlsx, 52 for the macro enabled workbook, xlsm. It's easier for me to remember the numbers than it is the uh, lovely little open XML version of this. If you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. There's just two ways to write this out. But if I explain every little caveat, this will take forever. <laughs> the full VBA course covers that in more detail, of course. So now that we have saved our file, let's go ahead and close it. wb 2 save.close, and let's go ahead and save any changes that were made, because maybe you also want to do something here after you've saved it. And actually, since we are not going to be doing anything else in these files, it looks like we are pretty much done. Just that little tiny piece of code. But since we are going to be creating new workbooks and saving them and closing them, you're going to get a lot of screen flicker. You're going to actually see it happen. That slows things down, and also it scares the end user. <laughs> so let's go ahead and turn off screen updating. Application.screenUpdating equals false at the top. And even though it's not really required at the end, we'll go ahead and turn it back on anyway for good measure. So screen updating equals true. Get the extra space out of there. And let us test this guy out now. All right, so we go back here. We have our worksheets. And right here is where we're going to be exporting them. So the folder is currently empty. Now let's hit Alt F8 and worksheet export. The name of the macro we just made, run. And we see a little bit of things happening and we are done. And here are our three files, one for Decker, Pris, and Tyrell. And there we go. Each one of them with their own file and all of the data from their worksheet. Now, let me delete this. And we will change it up a little bit. Alt F11. What if you want to completely remove those worksheets from this workbook? Well, all you have to do is where you have ws.copy, do ws.move, and no arguments. Now, we can go back here. This is empty. We have all our worksheets. Alt F8, worksheet export, run, and there we go. No more worksheets down here in the main file. They are now all here exported nicely and neatly. 
Now the very next thing that you may want to do is to email these files or export them as PDF and email them or do both of them. And you can do all of that. And I teach you how to do that and so much more in my full VBA course. And I'll put a link to that course below this video. So go ahead and check that out if you want to automate your workbooks and save yourself hours of time every week. I'm not even exaggerating with that. Once you learn how to automate your tasks in Excel, you're going to have so much more free time. But for this tutorial, uh, that's all there is.